very emotive. Nothing left to steal is a tell-it-all memoir by the multi-award-winning investigative journalist Nsili Kazi wa Africa. In the book, Africa looks at some of the most controversial pol political issues, uh, including one particular cash that had, well, media freedom in South Africa under scrutiny. He's unwarranted arrest followed. The book also touches on corrupt activities that involve some of the most senior officials uh, in government. Now, to tell us more about the book is a man himself, Nzilikazi Wa Africa. Very good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. Morning and thank you for inviting me. A very emotive book. I had some of my, uh, some of my uh, team members point out to me, he said, how can you put a black face on the book and then call it nothing left to steal? Immediately the connotation is that black people steal. How do you view that? Uh, uh, I happen to be a black man on the cover of my <laughs> book, so there's nothing, that's there's what, no connotation to it. So. That's, what, that's what I was trying to tell the guys, but you know, you can't, uh, in a way, I suppose, you can't get away from this kind of thing. But, <laughs> but tell us about the motivation for the, for the memoir and, and, and how, you, how you went through this difficult process. See, uh, the book is just like a chronology of my professional career with a little bit of myself, where I come from, who am I, and uh, the road I went through to be where I am today, you know. Basically, you know, when the story is out there in the newspaper, people read the story, they don't know what happened behind the scenes, uh, what exactly journalists or editors went through, legal threats, death threats, and all of that. So the book is capturing exactly what uh, I went through, or me and my team, when we're investigating certain issues, we yeah. went through to give the public the final product, which is uh, what they read in the newspaper. You're at that time dealing with a very tender subject in South Africa. It was around corruption, the police commissioner and so forth. You were even uh, uh, locked up within this process. Tell us about that and, 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 and then how do, you view, how do you view that particular moment in our history? I mean, someone was mischievous and someone sent the police to arrest me. And uh, that was an unfortunate incident because at the end of the day, taxpayers were at loss because I sued the states successfully. And uh, for an issue that should have been avoided, ignored, but because someone thought they can abuse their power by sending police to arrest me for no, 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 no apparent reason, just to show off they are they're, they're, they're in charge, you know. Uh, the issue again is we've got platforms in South Africa. If you're not happy with the story, go to the press ombudsman. If you're not happy with it, you go to court, sue, and uh, you get damages. But if issues are there, the truth is out there, why do we have to cover up the truth for, with lies? Now, central to this story is, of course, the charismatic uh, former police commissioner, Peggy Teller. Uh, have you seen the Bring Back Becky campaign that's been running on social media? How do you view that? I mean, um, I'm just a journalist. I'm, I cannot <laughs> <laughs> be chanting uh, slogans, bring down, beg someone or bring, uh, get someone done. Basically, it's up to the president, it's up to the ruling party to decide if they want to bring him back. They should, surely they should bring him back, but then they will have suffered the consequences of the uh, civil society, you know? We, we, we are about to go to court side, but I just want to, I, I just want to have a final Let's find a little bit of information. You're not only a journalist. I see that you, you're a songwriter, producer. Uh, tell us a little bit about these things and how does an investigative journalist that goes to jail for writing such, such tough uh, stories, do you write songs and produce and all that sort of thing on the side? Um, I don't drink or smoke. So after <laughs> work, I go to my recording studio to detox. You know, that's why I sit down to unwind and uh, writing songs, maybe being inspired by what happened during the course of the day. And uh, I just happened to have that ear because I've been, I wrote my first song when I was 11 years old and uh, I came up with a song that became one of the top 10 uh, songs around the world and uh, the house music, you know? Yeah. So I, I was inspired because I'm also motivated by what I see in life and by my conviction about life. Well, Nzilekazi wa Africa, nothing left to steal. It uh, deals with a very touchy story. The man spent some time in prison for that. I wish we could talk a little bit more, but...